What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the UAB Blazers Dynasty in MVP 06 NCAA Baseball. You guys will notice a couple things. We've got some changes. We've got some names here for our UAB Blazers roster, and you guys are in. So awesome, awesome that you guys are going to be a part of this dynasty and this basically this rebuild, building a champion for the UAB Blazers program, the baseball program. So some of you guys are seniors, so you know what? I give you props. I give you props for working with the freshmen, working with the younger guys, and grinding it out and being a staple. You guys will have pictures up down the hallways in the athletic department to say, you, you were the reason why we were able to recruit well and do some good things for the program. So although we may not win everything, we, we, we may not win it all this season, you are a definite part of this rebuild process. So you guys will notice another couple things here. I did change, I took, I took the liberty and changed some of the classes around. The one thing that you can't change though, is like, let's just go to the, uh, the edit player screen here. The one thing that you can't change is the height and the weight. So I, I did my best to try to like, okay, fit, to fit your guys' preference with the type of player that you wanted. But like this guy, like Kelly Tangan, I could not, you can't change the weight, no matter what you do, the weight or the height. So that, that cannot be done. The only thing I could do is change the face and how that looks, put a beard on, not put a beard on, the eye color. Um, I can change some attributes a little bit here and there too. I didn't go crazy on any of the attribute changes. I know some of you guys for pitchers, you wanted to have, you know, like the, the velocity goes up a little bit. Um, you wanted to have them a fastball or a curve and maybe a circle change limited in there. So um, I did. I went ahead and I changed some of that stuff, but I didn't go too crazy. Like this guy, Mashvi, catcher, wanted to have some big time power, not a lot of contact, very slow. He's ended up really good. He's a 79 catcher right now, and uh, I don't think I'm going to end up starting him though, because originally Davis was our starter as a senior. So you will notice I also changed one of our catchers as a 58 the junior to a junior. We had all seniors right there, so I changed him to a junior just because I need we need to have we need to have a, a senior catcher for next year on the roster. I, we can't have no positions filled, okay? We can't we just can't have it uh, going into the next season. So we will notice here that Jay Balmer, I did uh, put Jay Balmer, that's that was pitcher number seven. Since we don't have another outfielder, Jay Balmer requested that he wanted to be one of the outfielders. But, uh, you know, all the outfielders, myself and Kelly Tangan, were picked. So, just did the next best thing. Pitcher number seven played right field in the last episode. Well, Jay Balmer, you will be taking on that, that role as pitcher number seven. So, quite a few changes, guys. Quite a few changes from what we have come to know about this UAB Blazers baseball team. You guys will notice one thing. We are one and one right now. I will do some simulation right here and now. We, you will notice we play two game series, and we're gonna go ahead and simulate. I think because we play February, March, April, and May, so we only have one, two, three, four. We only have uh, four months. Four months of baseball to be played, and it looks like conference play. Looks like conference play actually begins. Ooh, conference USA here. What's going on? ECU. We got nobody here in Conference USA. I think the UCF Bulls are in Conference USA. I think. Florida State. Let's take on Florida State. How about that? How about we simulate all the way up till the 20th, and we will see how we're going to do. So we lose eight to three, 12 to four. Yikes! Yikes! Thurston has been suspended for six games for poor academic performance. The rosters need to be fixed to accommodate this suspension. So let's go ahead and fix manually. Come on, Thurston. You person, you. Let's get Jay Balmer back in the rotation. And yeah, that sucks. That sucks because we kind of needed you, man. We needed you. We've also got Larry Sims who can be kind of a spot starter in there as well. So that that's an option too if these guys get uh, get kind of tired out. So that is an option. Let's, uh, let's keep simming, though. We're going to get to the 20th. We did win against the Demon Deacons, and then we lost 6-1. to one. So we're currently 2-4, and four, 85 nationally ranked. We're taking on the 5-1 Florida State Seminoles. So, guys, let's go ahead and get this thing underway. We're going to have David Tilly. And shout-out to David Tilly, by the way. Go check out his channel, T 
Tilly's Sports Sim Gaming. I believe that's what it's called. Excuse me if I butchered that, but he did leave some comments, so go check him out, guys, up on YouTube. He does have some pretty cool stuff that he uploads. So, guys, let's get it going. Who are we going to start tonight? We got Davis batting ninth, Sam Morgan, the DH, Kingston, Balmer, Holt, Austin, Hyde, and Tangan. All right, so let's uh, let's get this thing going here. And Garcia is the number nine. It's pretty funny that they don't they don't give you enough room to like. Oh, there's the number nine hitter. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and get started. And then after this, I'll give you guys a stats update and see how everybody's doing. Hello, baseball fans. Mike Patrick here with Kyle Peterson to bring you EA Sports MVP 06 NCAA baseball. Thanks, Mike, and welcome everyone to Tallahassee, Florida, and Dick Hauser Stadium, named after Florida State's first All-American and home of the Florida State Seminoles. All right, guys, let's get this UAB Florida State action underway here. We're taking on the number 15 team in the land. It's going to be a tough task here. You guys can already see it, the starting pitcher. Easy ground outs right here so far to second base and third base. There's the lineup. Here's the batting order. Here's Josh Austin, our third baseman, and an 88 mile an hour four seam fastball high and inside. Thought he could get to it, but he could not. So check this out. Early bunt here and little miscommunication between Holt and Tilly, the starting pitcher. Nobody decided to take charge of that baseball and the drag bunt worked. So Tilly trying to pick this runner off, but a stolen base attempt will be had and completed. And there you go. So we have a runner already on second base, already in scoring position with nobody down. 0-2 count and number 17 for Florida State. It's going to strike out on that Tilly curveball. Topsy Tilly is what I'm going to call it. <laughs> Kingston here, second baseman, makes a nice play. Runner moves over to third base. We now have two down. In the inning, first baseman going to be grounding out here to Kingston. Makes the easy toss over Colt for out number three. So we do give up that first base hit off the drag bunt, but no more will be had here. So here is Holt. The first baseman is going to pop up to second baseman there for Florida State. Jay Balmer, our right fielder slash number two starting pitcher. This guy's an all-around athlete, man. I'm really excited to see what he is going to be able to do for us this season. He gets a base hit here, and now here is our second baseman, Kingston. And Jay Balmer is going to try to steal a base here, and he's going to get thrown out. So I thought that he had more speed, at least more speed, to get to second base on that slow, sweeping curveball, the 69-mile-an-hour Uncle Charlie, and he can't even get to second base in time. So he doesn't have a lot of speed out there. Running the bases or out in right field. I guess that's I guess that's to be expected. I mean, he's a right fielder. He's an outfielder. You'd, you'd expect him to be a little bit slower than normal outfielders, but he's also a pitcher, so I guess that that kind of kind of throws all that off. But Kingston's going to strike out. Still nothing, nothing game here. Balmer makes the play out in right field on that line drive, and look at that cannon. <laughs> Love it. Back to Garcia at second base. Here is second baseman for Florida State going to pop up to Garcia. He's going to make that easy play. Now right fielder number nine, he's an easy out. He's got 40 contact numbers. I mean, he's an easy, easy out. Tilly's going to get a second strikeout on the game. Here's our DH, Sam Morgan. He's going to ground out, though, to first baseman who makes a really nice play here. Let's check it out one more time. Just that nice dive. He's going to win a gold glove. You can just hear it right now. Here's Chase Davis, our starting catcher, who's going to ground out to shortstop, makes a strong throw over to first base. Now here's our own shortstop, Reggie Garcia, who's ooh, he's got a pretty good eye up there, man. Nice pitch to be taken right there. It's a curveball that almost got the upper outside part of the plate, but he is going to take it for a 2-2 count, and he's going to ground out to yet again. First baseman who makes a nice diving play again. So this guy is just eating us alive right now, and here comes Dougie Fresh, just digging in, man, digging in. We're trying to do some damage here on this pitcher. We're going to get a curveball high and outside. It's not going to cross the plate. The pitcher's had a kind of a tough time here uh, trying to get that pitch and trying to get that release point on that pitch. But check this out. Fastball low and inside, and Dougie's going to drill it to right center field for his first home run on the season. And UAB, guys, is going to take the lead one to nothing. So a solo shot for Mr. Hyde. 
And I'm raising my batting average to 217 now. Yeah. Yeah, let's go Blazers. Teammates, you guys are you guys are coming on in, giving me high fives. So we don't scratch cross any other runs after that home run, but Florida State's going to come right back in the next few innings here and get their own solo home run. So we got a tie ball game now, 1 to 1. In the bottom of the 4th. Nobody down. Inning is still alive. Doug trying to get over there to the wall. Trying to toss it back into second base. Not going to be in time, obviously. It's a really, really good placement for that hit. Base hit past Kingston over to Balmer. But checked out Balmer in the red. He fires to home. Davis with the tag. Oh, what a throw. What a throw. We told you guys he had an arm. And, man, Balmer makes a huge play for the out to preserve the tie. Base hit past Austin, but Doug cannot handle it out in left field. He just gives it a little bobble. It's going to cause the runners to move up one base a piece. Dougie, you got to have it right there, man. You got you to take control of that. So Tilly still trying to keep us in the game here. Oh, look at Austin. What the diving catch. He steals away a hit. Oh, what a play. What a play by Austin here. We got two outs, one and two count, and Tilly gets the batter to strike out. Guys, I don't know. That was such an off-on type of inning. I don't really know how I feel about that one because obviously the defense played really well, but there were also some instances where the defense played kind of crappy. So we, we all picked each other up to preserve this tie despite Florida State's little run here. Reggie Garcia coming up. He lays down a bunt. Third base is playing way too close to the to the bag, and he's going to get a base hit off of this. So we have Kelly Tang in our leadoff hitter coming up here with nobody down. Oh, one count now after that big swing and a miss. Ooh, he probably could have taken that out to right field had he gotten some contact. He was a little bit late right there. The barrel just barely crossed the plate, you know, a little bit too late. But he's going to swing and miss at, at this one, a curveball low and inside. And he's going to be a little bit too early. So 0-2 oh count and a changeup, and Tangen's going to take this one. And it's a good take. It's a good take. So now he's thinking a little bit. He's thinking, what am I going to see here? He's throwing me one fastball, two off speeds, gives him another off speed. And this time he went a little bit more to the left and nibbled just a little bit extra. And he's going to get Tangen to strike out here. So here's Doug after that. Home run in his last at bat. They've got bullpen guys out there right now warming up in case this thing gets out of control. And, oh, high and inside fastball. He's going back. Right fielder going back. Look it up. It is gone. Over the wall. UAP gets three runs on one swing of the bat. And Dougie Fresh hitting this high and inside baseball to right field man that's really tough to do guys like sometimes you i mean you want to pull anything on the inside part of the plate and i don't know how he's getting around and going inside out and hitting for power it's just insane speaking of insane look at that play the off balance Derek jeter type of throw by reggie garcia so guys four to one game here uab over florida state and we're getting some really good defense and clutch hitting by Mr. Doug over here. My, your, yours truly, your content creator, right? Your leader, your fearless leader. Here's a ground ball back up the middle to Garcia, who's going to cut it off. That looked like it was going to be a base hit, but Garcia with that slick glove. Look at this. Oh, nasty. Nasty with the glove right there, Reggie. He's going to get that out. So let's go to the bottom of the seventh here. He's not going to be able to get up to this one. So Tangan is able to get it back into second quickly. So the speedy runner does not get over to second base. Here's right fielder number nine. Like we said, we can throw to this guy with that 54 and 40 types of contact and power. We can definitely attack him. We do. We get that strikeout. Here's Austin camping underneath this one and making the catch. Here's shortstop, and he's he doesn't have a lot of contact and some power either. So we're going to attack him too. We get that ground ball. Austin with the strong throw, able to get the out. And we've got Davis, Garcia, and Tangen coming up here. And how, here is Davis, the catcher. Base hit right past the pitcher who was trying to make an attempt at getting that line drive, but nothing doing for him. So here is the next guy here. We've got Garcia is actually not going to get a base hit here. And now it's going to lead off 
with Tangan. So we're back at the top of the order here. Line drive back to second base. Still got the runner at first. Here comes Dougie, though. Had two home runs so far in this game, but finding myself down with two strikes and a nasty, nasty changeup. It's very tough to time. I'm going to strike out. So let's go to the bottom of the eighth here. Here is Holt. Going to try to toss it back to Tilly, and they can't make the play. They can't hook up here. So they've had some issues there with Bunce and trying to team up in the, earlier in this game, and they're not able to hook up there either. But Garcia takes a nasty slide right there. They do get the out at second, though, but can't double them up to get the out at first. Here's a base hit back up the middle. Runners will not advance past second base. Manager does come out to talk to Tilly to make sure he's okay because we don't want a three-run home run. That's the worst possible thing that could happen here. So we just want to start pitching to this guy a little bit outside. We don't need him to do any damage. Nothing nothing inside that he can drive, okay? Like like, like that. <laughs> like that. But Jay Ballmer being the good outfielder that he is, he's going to camp underneath this thing at the warning track, makes that play. Back to Kingston, back to Garcia. So now... Seeing as how Tilly has been starting to get timed up a little bit, we're thinking that we need to play some matchups here. So looking at the the right fielder here that's already in the batter's box, we're going to pull David Tilly, and we're going to put in our own left-hander to face off against this left-handed hitter in Cole Arbuckle. He's got some pretty good pitches that we know that he's going to be able to do some damage with. And look at this. Holt uh, gets first. Get to first. Get to first now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> we get the out, but uh, what's the reason behind that? What's the reason? Oh, that. That right there. So the cord on my Xbox controller is a little bit loose. Sometimes it freaks out. Yeah, sometimes uh, it goes numb a little bit. That's exactly what happened on that ground ball. So luckily, I got it reconfigured and figured out so we made the out and the inning was over <laughs> no damage no damage so here's kingston with a runner on first base already and he's gonna go ahead and ground out to first base who makes the flip over to pitcher covering the bag and the inning is over so guys we have three more outs to go we are going with our non-traditional closer matt reno the senior, he's got 43 stamina, so hey, if it somehow gets tied, he can keep going for a little bit. But he's going to strike out the first batter he faces on a 91-mile-an-hour fastball. I mean, that was the fastest pitch that I think has been thrown out of UAB's starting pitching so far. I mean, Tilly, I don't think Tilly can get up there. So Reno has got some heat. He's bringing it at the college level, at least in 2006. You know, guys weren't throwing that hard in uh, 2006 I'll just say that so we are setting this batter up here slider he's gonna strike out and he's got nothing look at that little flick right there number nine we've been able to attack him all game long and here we go ground ball to Holt flipping over to Reno and guys your UAB Blazers are going to win against Florida State in the first game between these two teams in a two-game series and we take it four to one we had six hits Florida State had nine hits, but only could scrape across one run. Four of those RBIs, though, came from yours truly off of two home runs. Everybody else, eh, it's okay. It's okay. Some of you guys got one hit. Some of you guys got two hits. It was all good. It was all good. So let's go ahead and not even worry about Florida State's numbers. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pitching staff. Tilly gets the win, went seven and two-thirds, one earned, five strikeouts. Reno had two Ks. Arbuckle only had to face one batter which was the lefty, and he got the job done. Taking a look at the box score for the next game, we ended up losing 2-1, to one, so we're playing we're playing good teams really close, and I'm really impressed with how we're doing, how we're doing, and how we're performing right now. So next episode, we're going to be taking on Purdue, and I think I might go with Brown or Sims. Sims has not pitched a single inning yet, and he's got enough stamina to last all game long if we need him to. So I'm thinking about using Sims as the guy that we're going to go with for a pretty bad Purdue team. And we are going to accept this challenge to try to get some sponsorships, right? Taking a look at the Conference USA standings right now. Conference play has not begun quite yet, but we're sitting at 3-5. and five. We could still make some moves here. We're a pretty decent team as it is. So I know that we're a D-plus overall, but we can play. We can hang. We just
just saw it against Florida State. We can definitely hang. So there's a little stats update for you guys. And uh, just real quick, you know, a lot of guys are getting a lot of at-bats. Like Jelson is not getting many. Uh, Cole Arbuckle might be coming in as, you know, the uh, DH has been removed. Uh, Klump does not have an at-bat yet. Mashry doesn't have a bat bat yet, so we don't want to. We want to get you guys involved a little bit too, even though you're backups. <laughs> we still got to play you guys because the energy levels are a real thing in this in this game. So you guys can see I am leading the way with two home runs with five RBIs, one double, six strikeouts though. So I'm striking out a little bit too much. Kingston is also getting in there with home runs. Holt, Garcia, Davis. Uh, OBPs are not good. OBPs are definitely not good. 269, 241, 212, 170. It's not good. It's not good. We need those OBPs to be higher. We need to be doing better. Pitching staff wise, looking at the innings pitched, J Balmer has 18, Tilly has 17 in the third. So those have been mostly the two guys that we're leaning on heavily. J Balmer, though, has 16 strikeouts. He's got an eight strikeout per nine innings pitch so that's really good he's got some electrifying stuff we see the bullpen here like matt reno ian brown nine and two thirds six innings for reno stefanis four thurston zero because he's been suspended and then sims actually has zero which that's going to actually go up because he's going to be able to start in next episode so guys Leave a like if you like this thing, and if you're new to the channel and you like it and you love it and you want more of it, make sure you hit that red button for a subscribe. You will not regret it. I promise you we do so much on this channel from NCAA football, from obviously college baseball, to MLB The Show, to NBA 2K19, to first-person shooters. We do it all on the channel, and I'm a very, very busy man because of that. <laughs> but I enjoy it, and I love gaming, and I know that you guys do too. So don't forget, leave a like, leave a comment. How do you think you guys did? Are you impressed with how UAB is performing right now? What are some things that you might think that we need to start employing to, to perform better even? So, guys, we'll see you in the next one. As always, peace.